you do any sort of spirited driving or competitive driving in open diff can be unpredictable and even dangerous. So for example, the last time I was at Tail of the Dragon, it was a little bit chilly at night and we woke up to some frosty conditions in the morning, not literally frosty, but pretty chilly. And uh, even though we got our tires warmed up, the pavement, the, the surface temperature of the pavement, pavement was quite cold. So, uh, you know, trying to accelerate hard out of a, a corner, a sweeping corner, I was spinning one tire and that can cause the rear end to kick out a little bit. Like I said, it can be really unpredictable and potentially dangerous in a situation like that, especially when there's high speeds involved or other cars involved on a track day, for example. So being able to be in control of your vehicle is paramount. And part of that is knowing how your rear end is going to behave in a rear wheel drive car specifically. And I think Traction Concepts LSD conversion kit might just be the answer. So I've been driving this car every day to work after installing this Traction Concepts LSD conversion kit and there's no weird noises. The car's not acting funny whatsoever. Uh, I'm feeling myself being able to leave corners or turn corners uh, and change direction a lot more spiritedly, a lot more aggressively uh, without the rear end kicking or without spinning any tires. We're getting grip and it's pushing us out of the corner and that's exactly what you want from your vehicle in a situation like that. You wanna leave those corners hard and know that you're putting all that power to the ground to get you going down the track or down the course. So uh, it's working as it should. Uh, and that's really, really exciting. I'm looking forward to doing some more testing, giving you guys some additional feedback, but for right now, I'm, I'm pumped. This is awesome. It's working as it should. Uh, we're getting some grip. I did a couple of hard launches and um, you know, once the tires got hot, we were, we're spinning, but we're spinning them both, and that is the key. Uh, but I can definitely tell we're getting out the hole a lot better than we used to. Unfortunately, again, satellites, are, uh, draggy is just not working. I don't know what the hell the problem is, but we'll get some zero to 60s eventually. Like I said, it's really hot today, and I'm an idiot for trying to do this at one, two o'clock in the afternoon when the sun is at its peak uh, intensity. So uh, the car's hot, we beat it on a little bit. I can't tell you how good our zero to 60s or 60 foot times would be right now anyway, but uh, I'm just excited as hell to see that we're leaving two stripes on the road. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I was getting really tired of spinning one tire either at launch or trying to accelerate out of hard corners. Uh, like a tail of the dragon for example i was just really sick of the one wheel peel or that the one tire fire or the peg legger or the one turner burner or whatever term you want to use i was done with it uh, and i was really really excited to start a partnership a relationship with traction concepts traction concepts limited slip differential conversion kit for the infinity q50 q60 i think it might just be a game changer. Go ahead and check out my installation video. I know you guys can handle that project on your own. Traction Concepts will provide a lot of support as well. Uh, great customer service, great customer support. Uh, no doubts whatsoever in my mind there. If you have any questions, they will help you out. Um, but also, check out my initial impressions video before you watch this one. Uh, uh, there were some, there were a lot of positives that stood out to me uh, as we got some first impressions and did a little bit of initial testing uh, in wet conditions, mind you. So uh, excited to get out there and test the car today. Unfortunately, my draggy is not connecting to satellites, although the sky is clear. I don't know what the heck is going on. So we will get some zero to 60 times. We will get some 60 foot times uh, in coming videos. I'm going to continue trying today to see what we can do, but I'm just going to maybe just beat on the car a little bit and see what kind of, see what we can do. A couple of people have said, oh, I spin both tires when I launch my Q50. Well, you might get lucky. You might get lucky and spin both. I, I have clips of myself uh, launching my Q50 and spinning both tires. It happens every once in a while, uh, but again, it's unpredictable. It's inconsistent. And if you are, 
Uh, and uh, this goes back to people saying, oh, the, that ELSD or the electronic brake assist LSD, that works in this car. Well, no, it, it doesn't really. It's counterproductive because it's actually activating your rear brakes to try to uh, retain a little bit of stability in the car and, and to slow one of those spinning tires down and try to transfer the torque to the other. So again, counterproductive, potentially a, a momentum killer, premature wear on the brakes, and it's fine in normal everyday daily driving situations, but if you're in a spirited driving or competitive driving scenario, you don't want your rear brakes activating to try to keep you in control. It's it's there as a as a safety feature for the everyday you know 60 year old woman who drives these cars normally uh, to prevent them from losing control in inclement weather, for example. But if you're trying to race on a track, you know, and you have traction control off because you're trying to you know be the one in control of your vehicle and not the computer. You don't want one of your tires spinning randomly or being having the brakes being activated while you go around a curve to try to give you stability when you're really trying to push the car. <laughs> I think we got them both spinning, fellas. Oh my goodness. Too bad the GoPro fell off the back. Damn. stuff coming for the Q50, more testing coming for the LSD conversion kit and stay tuned for uh, more testing footage of the Z1 Motorsports rear diff bushing. I think this is going to be a prime combination if you guys are interested in, in just being able to launch your car finally and have some control in your Q50 or Q60. So stick around for those videos, more stuff to come. I appreciate you guys watching very much and I appreciate the continued support. We'll see you in the next one.